So a quick overview of the application I built for Airplane Auctioneer. Airplane Auctioneer approached me with a unique challenge. They wanted to have a live auction uh, with a live auctioneer and they wanted to be able to have folks in the auction room place bids and they also wanted to have, uh, be, have the ability for people to log in over the internet and follow and place bids in real time uh, as the auctioneer was uh, doing the auction. Now, to accomplish this, we built a live auction platform which streamed audio out to the internet uh, in real time of the auctioneer uh, as he was in the auction room performing the auction. And uh, it allowed, this live auction platform allowed users to get real time updates as the bidding was taking place. Uh, to accomplish this, we used WebSockets. Uh, we used actually a third party uh, WebSocket integrator called Pusher. Uh, using their API, we were able to create a web application that would push real-time updates to the uh, registered users online as they were watching the bidding. Um, so if a bid was placed, they would their client would, or their web browser would immediately be updated with the new bid and they'd be alerted of the new bid. And they'd also be able to place bids in real time uh, and see that the auction was updated in real time with their bids as well. Uh, another challenge to this was uh, it was done or had to be done in less than 20 days so we accomplished this goal this build in about 20 days time uh, from start to finish uh, it was by all means successful we did sell the six aircraft we had over 300 bidders logging in uh, during the auction and uh, we had bidders from about seven different countries in fact we had uh, you know two planes that were sold out of country so it was a success uh, on its first outing so let's give you an overview of the uh, different parts that we had here so I'm gonna flip between two different tabs first tab is gonna be what the client sees so this is the website uh, as a client sees it and this is the web uh, administrator which allowed us to uh, administer the live auction as it was going on uh, so this is a pretty simple site um, it allowed or showing of all the listings we're going to just kind of replay the September 2012 uh, auction that we did where we auctioned, auctioned off six aircraft uh, this allowed the, the user to view the aircraft um, get more information about it uh, all of this information uh, was entered using our administrator which you'll see here in a minute um, nothing fancy here just simple uh, kind of crud functionality uh, to create update delete those listings um, through this interface, the we could have buyers approach us, we could have sellers approach us and just get their information. Uh, they could also register to bid or contact us. So really straightforward functionality, nothing, nothing really uh, awesome here to look at. Uh, let's go ahead and log in or view the administrator back end. Uh, the listing manager allowed the administrator to create auctions and then add listing to those auctions. So here's that West Des Moines auction, here are those six um, planes that you saw out here in the client interface uh, and this allowed the administrator to turn these auction or turn these items on and off to edit them uh, update delete them uh, and obviously all of that would be updated in real time out to the client um, the gallery manager was just where we managed our assets the image assets that we could assign to these different aircraft as they were put in the listing. Uh, bidders are just a list of all the bidders that were registered. Same with buyers and sellers. Uh, that would be their information if they click the buyer or seller list. Uh, so let's go ahead and get in the meat and potatoes here. Let's go ahead and spin up the, the auction. So we'll start an auction. And once we do that, uh, the user will be able to log in and view the op auction in real time. But uh, this is still the uh, admin view here of the live auction manager at this point we would have a live audio stream of the auctioneer um, being pushed out to the web so folks over the web could hear what was going on in real time in the auction room now we had worked with the auctioneer and kinda knew uh, what increment he was gonna do the the bidding on for each plane so as we would set up a new auction he would give us what the increment would be and then what our, his initial asking price would be. So in this case, let's just say it was 20000 and we're going to increment that bid as 5000 as people would place bids or accept bids on the floor. 
So uh, let's go ahead and look and see how a user would see this. I'm going to log in here. So this is what the user would see as they were following the bidding online. And of course, there would be an audio stream here, so they'd be able to hear what was going on in the live auction floor. Uh, they'd be able to see what the upcoming auctions are and uh, kind of get the heads up of everything that was going on with the current auction. So we can see that the asking price or the opening price was 20000 We don't have a current bid because nobody's accepted that acting asking price yet. Uh, but uh, we can see that was updated from here. So let's go ahead and say, or let's simulate what would be happening in real time as the auction happens. So as a user, we would be able to hear, you know, do I hear 20, can I get 20? And if you as a user wanted to bid, you could go ahead and bid that asking price. And we would bid that, it would go through the system and get updated in real time. So that was pushed back to him, so you could see his bid was accepted. And in our interface here, we could also see that it was accepted here as well. Uh, and uh, to play it from the other way, let's say that we were here and I was actually the, the auction manager as the auctioneer was uh, going live, so his next asking would be 25. Do I hear 25? Can I get 25? And if somebody on the floor would say, yep, we'll give you the 25, I could hit bid floor and it would update automatically here. As you can see, it would automatically update here as well. So I didn't refresh, I didn't do anything here. It just pushed out in real time uh, to this viewer who was online. Uh, and we could do this all day. We could go back and forth, bid asking, bid regular. But this what this allowed us to do, the auction manager, to follow the auction live. We could place those bids on the floor. We could place custom bids from the floor, custom bids from, we also had a phone bank set up so folks could call in. Uh, or um, uh, if we had another bid from the internet or an offer, we could put it in there. Uh, at any time, anybody could make an offer. Uh, so if an offer came in from the floor and the auctioneer accepted it, I could put that in here and it would automatically update in real time and push it out. Uh, folks could also, on the internet, so we're back here on the internet a user, they could make offers that would co come in uh, and then I could relay those to the live auctioneer. He would accept those or decline those. If it was accepted, I could put it in and it would automatically become the current bid and the new asking price would be 5000 above it. Uh, so, you know, to, I guess, continue on with the, the, the exercise, we could say, you know, going once, going twice, as we went back and forth. So going once, going twice, and then we could sell that aircraft uh, once the, the bidding was complete. Uh, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, I would say it was a success. Like I said, we sold all six aircraft. Uh, we had a uh, gentleman as far away as Ireland bid over the internet uh, and win uh, one of the aircraft. Uh, the, the software worked pretty well. So uh, it was a fun, interesting, uh, somewhat stressful project to work on, but I would say an overall success. Thanks.